Hello, my name is Braden Gerard, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a customized WYSIWYG editor inside of Strapi. We're gonna use CK Editor in this demo. So first we're gonna create a new Strapi project with NPX Create Strapi app. We're just gonna call it CK Editor Strapi Demo. And then we're gonna do a quick start setup. So it's just gonna install our node modules. And once that's done, then we can continue. Okay, so our Strapi instance has finished installing and I just set up the first account for Strapi. So now that we're in here, let's quickly create a new content type. So we'll create a post, which could be like a blog article or blog post uh, content type. We're just gonna call it post all lowercase. And then we will give it a title. And that can be short text, that's fine. Uh, and then we will also give it a rich text field and we'll call that content so that'll be the content of our post so we finish we have a post with a title and content now if i save that content type we see we have a post collection type here now and i go over to our content manager and create a new post uh, if i go to create a post here we can see that it's the default strappy what you see is what you get editor uh, along with the title text input field here so this is what we want to replace with ck editor so if we go back over to our installation, uh, our code here, we can stop this. And let's just change into the directory of our project. And in there, we're gonna install uh, one more node module. Uh, that's gonna be the Strapi plugin CK editor. And we're gonna hit enter and we'll install that. And now that that's installed, we can rerun our project. And then we just have to set up a plugin configuration file to tell Strapi to use CK Editor as our default, what you see is what you get editor. So in order to do that, we're gonna create a new file over here in our project in the config folder called plugins.js. Plural plugins, make sure that you have the S on there. And then in that file, we're gonna say module.exports and we're gonna return the CK editor object with the property inside of their enabled set to true. And if we save that, then we can go back over to our Strapi instance here. I need to refresh, create a new entry. And you can see that we now have the CK editor. We have all these different options of things that we can do with CK editor. Uh, we can you know, write our normal paragraph text. We can change the color of that text or highlight it. So let's highlight it. CK editor, um, we can, let's say, write in a different color if we want. Um, hello, this is red. Uh, and we can add in different H1s, H2s, etc. And then all kinds of other great stuff that you can do with CK editor. Add code blocks, add source code, add videos, tables, all this kind of stuff. Now, in order to configure all these options up here, uh, we can set up the config object inside of our plugins.js file. So if we go back over to our code and we add in the default config here, uh, this was taken from the CK editor plugin page on the Strapi website. Um, and if you go over there, you can take their default config as a starting point, which has all of this inside of it. Let me just close this down here so you guys can see better. Um, and it has all the different font colors, background colors, um, images, toolbar stuff, what you wanna see in the toolbar, all these types of options, headings. Um, and you can find all of these different options for CK Editor um, on the CK Editor website where they have documentation on the different config options. Um, but you can add this config property here inside of your plugins.js object. Um, actually, that should be inside the, sorry, there's a mistake there. That should actually be inside of the CK editor. So right here, there we go. So yeah, that can be inside the CK editor um, plugin uh, object, uh, add a config property, and then the plugin uh, information can go here, the editor information can go here, and all these different properties that you can set um, in the config can be found on the CK Editor website. 
And that's all that you have to do in order to set up CK Editor inside of Strapi. Thanks for watching.